I love showing you different types of fish and different ways to cook different types of fish. Here I've got some mackerel. Now mackerel has quite a dark colour flesh. It's a really oily fish so it lends itself really nicely to acidic flavours. So I'm going to pair it with a really nice olive and sherry vinegar salsa. Now three cloves of garlic to start with and I'm going to confit this garlic in some really good quality extra virgin olive oil. The olive oil is going to be the basis of this sauce and really round off everything in this salsa. So big, fat, plump cloves of garlic for this, fresh garlic into a small pot. And I want a little bit of heat here. So I've got a green chilli and I'm just going to cut this chilli in half. So we don't want speckles of chilli in here, we just want the perfume of the chilli, if you like. Seeds and all and that can go in. Now I'm going to cover this with the olive oil and I'm going to heat it up. We just want this to be warm, so don't overboil it or else you're going to lose those beautiful peppery and grassy characteristics of the olive oil. So heat on and then I'm just going to just monitor this and just turn it down really, really low. Now this is not going to take too long to heat up, but that gives me enough time to prep the fish. For these whole fish, I'm just going to cut three incisions. And mackerel, interestingly enough, doesn't have any scales. And you can see how shiny they are. They get the nickname bullets of the ocean because they swim so fast with that speckle of marbly blue throughout their skin there. I love the flavour of them. And leaving them on the bone like this is a great way to cook them because it's going to stay really moist. So three incisions on this side. I'm going to flip it over and I'll do the same on the other side. Not all the way through to the bone, almost to the bone though. Now these only take five minutes on each side so we'll leave them to the very last minute. In a food processor I find this the easiest way because it's just going to chop everything instantly for me. Two anchovy fillets. This is a very Sicilian inspired dish with the anchovies and the green olives. When you're picking out your green olives, these are Sicilian green olives, I always buy them whole with the stone in them and then cut them out. The flavour is so much better. So a good handful of the olives in there. And I like the green because it looks quite nice when presenting. Also, some vinegar. So sherry vinegar has a great flavour and a good amount of that in there, again, to cut through the oiliness of the fish. And I've got some shallots here, so French shallots, and I'm just going to roughly chop them just into big chunks because they're quite large and they go in as well. And this oil is looking fantastic. Look at that. See, it's not boiling there. It's just warmed up and the garlic has become translucent. So I'm going to add majority of this garlic in here, a few tablespoons of the oil and the little garlic and I'm going to leave the chilli out for this. And I'm just going to keep this oil because I'm going to also use it when I'm cooking this mackerel. So lid can go on now and then just pulse this. You don't want to blitz it until it's a puree. We want it to look like a salsa. Okay. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Vibrant green, that is going to go so well. So I'm just going to put this to the side now, let all those flavours marry together while we cook the fish. Now I've got a little pastry brush here and with this flavoursome oil, I'm just going to brush over the fish, just a light amount. Don't need too much on both sides. And I've got a griddle pan that's been heating up. You want this to be really hot because a nice hot pan will also ensure that that skin doesn't stick. All right, on they go. happy with the way that this mackerel is looking and that skin is really nice. I love that skin because it goes super, super crispy. And I'm going to serve it straight from the grill pan and be really careful now because they're delicate. I don't want it to break its shape. So onto a plate and our second mackerel. And I'm just going to drizzle some of this olive salsa straight over the top. A good amount of that on there. 
And just for some extra acidity, I like to add a cheek or two of lemon just on the side there and some fresh parsley tops it off. Mackerel is such a great fish. It's a great alternative to the classic fish like snapper and salmon that we all know. Give this a go next time you see it at your fishmonger.